Corruption threshold for the GPS station near the Swartzengi power plant has passed the threshold of eruption. Uh, we have a cluster of the earthquakes between the Swartzengi and Hagofell, and we can see that uh, also on the chart. is not yet a swarm, but the depth of the earthquakes have uh, decreased. Now we are having them almost near the surface from the depth of 5 kilometer to one kilometer, we have all these uh, uh, earthquakes happening. And in the past, in the uh, December 2023 and January 2024, we had the eruption. When that threshold level reached, we have not passed that threshold level. Any moment, we will have another eruption, and I'm waiting for that, and I will report it to you. Thermal images show the heat from the previous eruption in January also is yet rising from the field of lava. As you can see, the area is covered in the snow, but that area is free from the snow. When it happens, the swarm of the earthquake will be sudden, and the magma will rise, and you see it in the ch tremors chart, an earthquake chart. And this will be something like the 14th of January. This is the chart now, earthquake uh, swarms started, and you see that. And the cluster of the earthquake on the map also was visible. Any moment we will have that. This is near. This is the place to watch. Near there between Swarsing and Hagofell. Eruption of the Hagofell and Grindavik volcano was surprising. It created two fissures, one 900 meter, the other one 100 meter, touching almost the northern part of the Grindavik. They could have been part of the same fissure, just being a, you know, a little bit more extended. What we have now, the situation is that we had a Sundunka eruption uh, in the December 2023. Now we have the January 2024. The Grindavik had a Hagofell eruption. And in between, there is a gap. You can see between the yellow part to the left and the orange part again to the left. We have extension to the Sundunka, extension to the Hagofell Grindavik, nothing in the middle. We must have something there happening. It is a stock. It has to accommodate the movement, otherwise those ones cannot move. It's like a zipper in the north Sundunka near the Swartzengi has opened up and we had a eruption. And this is part of the Mid-Atlantic reach, the fault line extension, creating eruption. Sundunka was like that. And then after that, we have the Hagofell uh, and the Grindovic again to the south this time and opening up the ground like a zipper and we had this eruption presto and now in the middle it is a stock no movement there it has to move because this extension of the Eurasian plate like a zipper again it has to open up accommodating this all extensions two sides open one middle cannot stay there and we have evidence for that you see that this is Sundunka in the orange arrow and the yellow one shows the green Davik Hagofell one and in the middle we are seeing this uh, earthquakes at the depth of two kilometers are coming the slope of this uh, land uplift uh, chart shows that it's quite possible we have it within three weeks end of the January first week of the February it will be somewhere between the Hagofell and the Sundunka, to the north of the current eruption that happened in January 2024.